Hey everybody, welcome back to the Buffalo Plus channel on YouTube, Mike Catalano, along with Dan Fates. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Hot. Yeah, sorry. I know it sounds obnoxious, you know, when we're here and it's nice weather, but I say this to people all the time. You know, sometimes we're going to the cold weather. I have shot both games in sub-zero temperatures in Buffalo against New England. I, yeah. I deserved this one. <laughs> I deserved this one. Jenna threw so much shade at me when she got to go to Tampa. Yeah. Jenna, it's hot here yeah it's hot it's warm it'll be that way tomorrow night for the draft all right let's start with what we're hearing you have a source yep. telling you where the bills interest might be on offense and it's not wide receiver no it's not and, and i've been team wide receiver as you know on the podcast and on the buffalo plus youtube channel it makes me somewhat nauseous to say we all know how i feel about the running game and running backs but the same source that told me last year that the bills were interested in travis Etienne, who was the number one running back out of clemson he wasn't available on the board when the Bills were on the clock in the first round. They eventually took Greg Rousseau. The Jags took ETN before the Bills had a chance. That same source is telling me that the Bills like Brees Hall out of Iowa State a lot. I got chills. Like cold chills on a hot Vegas day. It, it, it's okay. worrisome. We talked to Daniel Jeremiah, NFL Network. He, he has. Knows, and he knows more than me. Well, he has Brees Hall to the Bills. Not only is he hearing that, I think he believes it would be a good fit. And he talks about the Bills being one of those teams yep. that have a lot of things in place. And picking 25th, as he didn't say it was a luxury pick, but he's talking about filling out yep. what that offense is. There's obviously a, the, the stigma of you don't draft a running back in the first round that has seemed to blow up teams and backfire for teams. But he talked about picking running backs in the top 10, where you don't have a good team for a couple of years. So you're burning you're burning carries of a running back. Well, we've seen that with Saquon Barkley and the Giants. Yep. Talented guy. Even but Zeke. Zeke Elliott, yeah, who is a really good player, but he's not even the best running back on his team right now. Yeah, so that is where the concern is. But Daniel Jeremiah says that, look, that one, Brees Hall is one of the 32 best players in this draft and says that he can do everything. And that the interesting point he said, you can hear the whole conversation that we had with him over on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel as well after you watch this video. But the fact is, is that he goes, other teams in division hope the Bills don't take him. And I thought that was yeah. big because we talk about, oh, how are you going to prepare for Tyree Kill? How do you handle all of these things? Sometimes your best defense is offense, Mike. And, and to give a playmaker, a playmaker on offense, not a running back on offense, a playmaker on offense like what Hall could bring, maybe I could get on board with. Yeah, uh, Brees Hall's not here at the draft, no. but plenty of the wide receivers are. We got a chance to talk to them. Impressive group, uh, the Ohio State guys, back to back that we talked to, Alave and Wilson. Yep. Uh, <laughs> you know, I say all the time, it used to be, oh, Buffalo, well, it's cold there, and you got to play in the snow. That doesn't even come up. What comes up all the time? Number 17. Yeah. And the only time it did come up was the weather was Jamison Williams said that he's from, he plays, likes to play in those cold weather elements. So Because he said that proves the guys who really want to play yes. when you play in the cold. So I don't know about Jamison Williams to the Bills. He, he said he's not really talked to them. Yeah. And he's coming off that injury. I, I, you know, maybe he did at the Combine. You know, they get a lot of interviews. He didn't sound like he had the connection. The other guys that are here, yeah. Alave and Wilson, both said they've had conversations, have maintained in touch. So we'll see. But just the way they talk about Allen has changed everything for this franchise. Being a guy that, that that's exciting, even defensive players we talked to that the Bills could take, they said that the the energy, the enthusiasm, all of those things that Josh Allen, it translates to both sides of the ball, which is what we've heard from the Bills locker room as well. Yeah, Kyler Gordon, a corner out of Washington. Um, also, the Utah linebacker. Lloyd. Yeah, Devin Lloyd yep. uh, was talking about, man, when you have a guy like Josh Allen. But then I joked to him, I said, if you don't get picked by the Bills, he goes, yeah, i got to have to chase him down. Uh, very impressive guy. Yes. I don't know if they go linebacker early. That guy may go before the Bills pick, but I found him to be a pretty impressive guy. But all around, uh, it was a play 60 event. A lot of young kids here. I thought the players handled themselves well. Um, Kyle Hamilton out of Notre Dame. Yes. I, I think he's in that weird spot. You know, a lot of people, yeah. I brought it up a while ago. Could the Bills trade up to get a guy like that? I think he's a guy that's got to sort of sit back and see what happens. Yeah. Honestly, he could go five. He could go 15. He could go 25 if he was still on there. 
It's going to be a strange one for him. It's going to be a strange one for him and the wide receivers because I think we've seen every single person have a mock that are everywhere in between. So those are going to be something to see. And it's also because the other thing that Jeremiah said was the fact that we don't know where the left tackles are going. We're not exactly sure where the quarterbacks are going, which makes this a very volatile draft where we could see tons of movements and trades. Yeah, well, we're going to be talking plenty about the draft coming up right here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel. We have a show, 7.30 8, live right here on the Buffalo Plus YouTube channel, and plenty of content, as Dan mentioned. The Daniel Jeremiah uh, interview today, yep. I think you guys are going to like hearing what he had to say about the guy who could end up yeah. bothering Dan and being a number one pick. All right, that's going to do it for us right now. Make sure you keep coming back here and check out the content that we have. For Dan Fades here with me in Vegas, and Jenna, I can... Cold, snowy. snowy. Is it snowing? I think it was snow. Well, we'll just pretend it's snowing back home uh, for our entire team. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you next time on Buffalo Plus.